so hello hearty welcome to phd study tips youtube channel today i'm going to speak about uh, a very important scholarship that is called mixed scholarship um, from japan so if you want to do phd in japan so phd in japan has a uh, lot many scholarships maybe almost seven scholarships are available uh, among them the very important scholarship is mixed scholarship so this is uh, the mixed scholarship the full form is uh, the ministry of education culture science sports um, and technology so this is what uh, mixed uh, uh, abbreviation stands for and coming to this scholarship uh, why i say it is very very important um, and uh, to those who wants to pursue phd is uh, this uh, scholarship uh, uh, gives a huge amount that is almost uh, like um, uh, it gives uh, 1 uh, 1 lakh 40000 uh, japanese yen so which means uh, in uh, usd is almost 1250 usd dollars and um, according to indian currency it's almost like um, uh, uh, almost uh, yeah 96000 to 1 lakh so let us assume we are getting monthly scholarship of 1 lakh rupees from this mixed scholarship uh, for doing phd so which means not only that besides that um, this is going to cover all our travel expenses to and fro and also it covers all uh, the other tuition fee expenses uh, for our phd so this uh, particular mixed scholarship um, uh, uh, happens uh, every year like um, uh, there is a there is certain process i'll just explain uh, how to get into this uh, uh, scholarship and you can do phd successfully in japanese university like osaka and uh, japan japan is highly developed economy even after phd you can settle there uh, if you want to settle down there so that, that's how so now how to uh, get this scholarship to us like uh, you have finished your master's degree and you want to enter into the scholarship mixed scholarship you want to do it in japan and then later on you want to settle in japan that is your wish again if you want to if you, want, you can come back to your own country but you will earn so much even with the scholarship that uh, they are uh, pr providing if you can save a little bit um, so first first things first that is you have to start process uh, here in India itself. It happens twice, like in the month of uh, uh, usually uh, usually uh, academic year starts like uh, uh, like as in with like like as in India, like in the month of April to June, and also October uh, second semester uh, other uh, intake starts. So you can apply any one of these depending upon your situation. So, but all the process starts from the Japanese consulate, which is in your own country like if you are in india there is a japanese consulate so it, all the process starts from there so uh, there you will have to give two exams the first exam is that you have to prove your japanese skills a little bit so usually this is a little bit so you need to take a little bit you should have a minimum knowledge in japan and japan japanese language so that is there little bit that you'll have a like entrance test here in your own country itself and uh, also you will have to give english text test too so they will test in english and japanese japanese you don't need so high level but if you have high level you will be considered for this uh, scholarship uh, so before applying this scholarship at least take three months uh, uh, beginner course in Jap Jap japanese uh, that way you are um, eligible to apply and also english uh, you can parallelly take these two courses in three months time and be ready to uh, meet consulate and uh, uh, f finish that entrance exam and uh, then you qualify for application process so application process is a very simple you need to provide all the transcripts uh, and you need to provide some uh, uh, recommendation master's degree marks and recommendation let, uh, recommendations like um, and then application process uh, goes on smoothly so once you uh, like enter there <coughs> this is called a research student scholarship so research student scholarship it's it's named like this so once you enter uh, in the universe japanese university all the way you will not start uh, your uh, 
PhD course sometimes because um, you will have to attend uh, entrance exam there uh, very much uh, again and uh, you have to show again you have to prove your skills there Japanese skill Japanese language a little bit and your English skills again within the university and also you have to submit uh, uh, you have to go through your research proposal again back again you you'll, anyhow you will do it research proposal in your own country that's the best time like contacting uh, the university professors arranging your PhD supervisor in your own country itself will give you a benefit you can even go to japan and do this like uh, getting uh, supervisor's approval and all with your research proposal but if you do it when you are in in your own country is very good to go with so ha doing this will benefit you uh, when you do it in your own country besides all the application process that is it so once you uh, start this scholarship is only for two years again remember this scholarship next scholarship only is for two years now if you want to get uh, more years like you know PhD is um, uh, is of more years so if you want to get more years don't worry at all there is a smooth process to renew the scholarship again back so to get that monthly scholarship of one lakh per month so it is possible after uh, you can renew it not only that you will also get uh, a job there itself uh, teaching assistantship something and uh, you can do some other jobs too but uh, uh, you always you have to remember the rules of uh, at, at the time of your study what are the rules to do part-time jobs or what are all the rules to uh, um, uh, do other jobs because you are getting scholarship and your main responsibility is to study your PhD so that is what and uh, if uh, I think I have covered most of the points if I if I would have not covered some uh, let me cover here um, yeah I think if you want that there are some language classes uh, uh, when you go there with this uh, mixed scholarship you will have some language classes in Japanese free of course you can attend if you want before even giving the entrance exam test there um and uh, <coughs> now recommendation from uh, the embassy from your own country is very very important so there is uh, a japanese embassy in your own country so first you need to satisfy them one uh, unless they recommend things will not move so make sure you um you satisfy them by giving a good japanese skills and english skills show showcasing them very well okay um and also like um which japanese university would like to prefer to study and uh, you have to like get one recommendation from that university like that you are applying for mixed scholarship to uh, recommend you okay so application starts in uh, april 2022 or depending upon your country's dates but this is the official formal uh, month but i i can't say date that you have need to find out from the consultancy and embassy uh, uh, and uh, the years are like it starts f uh, in february to april this process in your country to get into that uh, june uh, to get into june admission that is first semesters maybe or we don't know exactly find out the dates from the embassy but start your process from now itself 2022 january itself you go to visit embassy and start your trials okay don't do late because you need to gather many many things then february start the process by april it will end even if you miss it you can try for august uh, that is starts from august the other application process and you can join in o october so that is half uh, so those who want to study phd in japan and want to earn scholarship every month up to one lakh easily and have a b do phd with one of the highly developed economies like japan and this is all the way with the mixed scholarship so these are the some some of the details now the very important uh, thing that i want to tell is if you are really interested in going to japan and do phd you are seriously interested then uh, i have a ebook uh, uh, complete detail information how to apply step by step ebook is there so you can uh, purchase this ebook that is the link is in the description 
so you can click on that link and you'll be taken to uh, you'll be taken to buy that ebook to get the step by step process walk through from beginning to end so kindly check the description to get the ebook only if you are serious with uh, entering uh, japan and do your phd and become uh, a successful uh, uh, establish a successful career um, uh, and make a difference from your colleagues like thank you so much uh, and uh, if you have any doubts kindly comment and uh, make sure you press the bell icon and because uh, and all and also join my editorians whatsapp group i will also give my whatsapp group link in the description you can join in my whatsapp group already there are 170 members in my whatsapp group editorians you can join with the link um, mentioned in the description and also you can uh, buy ebook if you are serious about going uh, that all the all links are in the description and thank you so much i wish, wish you best of luck and uh, be careful with um, omicron variant and don't be so hasty doing these things if something is uh, really a problematic please you can go next year if not this year but take care of take care with the omicron, va omicron variant thank you so much